Yeah. Peace be unto you, Bridget. This is young Judah. Right? And um today's lesson will be about the inner man. Yes, your inner man. Your inner man is the Almighty God. Right? Or the kingdom of heaven. Right? It is within you. Or what we call the church. His body. Right? It's a spiritual body. It is in you. Right? It's in your heart. It's in your heart. In your mind. So this is what I have on the board now. This is what I have on the board. This is your inner man. This is the kingdom of God. Which, came, which come down out of heaven. Or the wisdom which descended from on high. This entire image. This entire image is the wisdom that descended from on high. Right? Which is the holy city. The new Jerusalem. Right? Which is all his works that he created in you. This one, this, this that you see is in you. Right? These are these are eyes, right? Which are the eyes of your understanding. Let's go to that one, which are the eyes of your understanding. See the eyes of your understanding. Let's go to as I said, this is your inner man which is in you. So these eyes are the eyes of your understanding. The eyes of your understanding. Right, so let's so let's go to it now. Let's go to Ephesians. Right. Ephesians chapter one verse eighteen. The eyes of your understanding. So you see, I didn't make it up. <laughs> I didn't make up what I said about the eyes of your understanding, right? So these are the eyes of your understanding, which is in you. Because the kingdom of God is in you. Okay, it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You see, let's go to let's go to Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. Notice it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. What does it mean to enlighten something? Basically, to make it light or make it bright. You know, make it as a thing that emits light or shines. Okay, so this Revelation chapter one verse fourteen it says, his head and his ears were white like wool. See, his head and his ears were white like wool. So that's why you see you have this cloud. This is a cloud, which is his head and his ears. Right? This cloud is his head and his ears. And they are white like wool. Right? And this is his people. This cloud represents his people, which is in you. <laughs> his people. Right? His people, which is in you. Right? So the cloud, his head and his ears, is his people, the Nazarite, which are down here. You see the sapphire stone? These are his Nazarites. Because, the, because this is one body, you know. It's one Lord, one body. So. So the Nazarites are also the, the cloud as well. White like wool. I'm sure it's so the Nazarites are even like that. I'm just showing a bit some pieces. You know. And you 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 see the full you see the fullness. Lamentations four. To Jeremiah. I mean Lamentations. Okay, do this quickly. Okay. Lamentations chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Her Nazarites were purer than snow, they were whiter than milk. See the cloud. The cloud. Nazarites whiter than snow, purer than milk. And that's what we had read. His head and his ears were white like wool, as white as snow. So even his whole body is his people. The cloud, because it's a cloud, you know. See his arms. See the, see the cloud here, the cloud which is his robe, his garment, cloud. This is it's a big cloud and all of this is revealed in the cloud. Right? The glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Alright? The glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Let's go to Exodus. Look at Exodus. Exodus. Exodus yeah. is it here hold on hold on hold on find 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 the preset I'm looking for find that preset quickly
right, so I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Yeah, I'm going to show you that the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Okay, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Now let's go to. Okay, Deuteronomy 31 verse 15. Let's go to Deuteronomy 31 verse 15. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 15. And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud. You see that? The Lord appeared. That's why I tell you, this is the Almighty God. He revealed himself in the cloud. He appeared in the cloud. You see, so the eyes even appear in the cloud. You understand? So it says, and the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. See? It stood over the door of the tabernacle, which is what? The sapphire stones. The sapphire stones are the doors. Let's go to cause because the sapphire is what? Nazarites. Let's go back to Lamentations 4 again. Lamentations 4, I'll show it to you. Lamentations chapter 4. Right. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Her Nazarites were purer than snow, they were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. See, it's sapphire stone. So these are the Nazarites. The sapphire stone, right? So, so what I'm saying to you is that. We go back to here. It says, it's Deuteronomy 31 verse 15. And the, and the pillar of cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. So I'm going to show you now that Christ said, I am the door. So the spirit, which is the spirit of God, it rests upon the Nazarites, which is the sapphire stones. See? It, it stood over the door of the tabernacle, meaning it is resting upon me, it's upon my heart. The Spirit of God is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach. You see? So, let's go to it. Let's go to Let me show you. So, it stood over the door. So, I'm going to show you something now. Where well, Jesus said, I am the door. Uh -huh. St. John 10, verse 9. I am the door. See? He's the door. He's the sapphire stone. He's the Nazarite. He's a Nazarite. Right? Jesus Christ is a Nazarite. He's the door. So the sapphire stones are the doors. And the doors is even the head. <laughs> see, so this so I am a Nazarite as well, you know. Because the Spirit of God is upon me, see? He stood upon the flood. He's standing upon the flood. It's, um, Psalm 29. Okay. Psalm chapter 29, verse 3. The voice of the Lord is upon the water, see, sapphire, because sapphire is a blue color, see, sapphire is a blue color, right, so this blue color, right, is also the color of the sea, the sea, the sea is blue, and we have read that the Lord stood upon the waters, many waters, see, so the, so the Spirit of God, which is this body, the Almighty God, is upon the waters, which is the sapphire stones, which is the Nazarites. He's, he's resting upon us. The Spirit of God is upon us. See? The Nazarites. So you see? So that's why the scripture said that to show the knowledge of the kingdom of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Alright? Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter four. Second Corinthians chapter four verse six. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, see he caused the light to shine out of darkness, which is what the cloud. In Isaiah fifty verse three, he said, "Clothe the heavens with blackness." See, so the, he, he clothed the, he, so the clouds also become black. You understand? And and out of this thick dark cloud came forth lightning or light <laughs> came for lightning or light or these fiery eyes right because his whole body is fire and his light god is light so it says for god who command the light to shine out of darkness are shining our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of god see the knowledge of the glory of god this is this on the board is the glory of god the knowledge of the glory of god in the face of jesus christ notice it says in the face of jesus christ 
this is the face of Jesus Christ. How I know that this is the face of Jesus Christ? Let's go to let's go to um, Revelation chapter two to show you that this is the face of Jesus Christ, which is his inner face, not his physical human face. No, this is it. This is this is the um, the spirit of God's face, his inner face. Right? Let me show you now. It says. Um, Yes, Revelation 2 to show you that this is the inner man. Revelation 2 verse 18. And unto the angel of the church in Titia, right? These things say the Son of God. Right? Say it who? The Son of God. Who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire. See? The Son of God hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire. See? He has his eyes like unto a flame of fire. Which is what? Which is what? Here, here, give you an idea of it. Mm, let's go to mm, 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 mm. yeah so yeah yeah so here we go right his eyes his eyes are as a flame of fire so this eye is what I drew I drew this eye see these are the eyes that I draw same eye this eye is what I put up here right so see the eye Okay, so it says, so you see that, and we had read, remember we had read that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, see, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, see, so this is the inner man whose eyes are as a flame of fire, which is what, go back to it, I didn't finish the verse, let's go back to the verse, I didn't finish, I didn't finish the verse, Revelation 2 verse 18, and unto the angel of the church, in entirety you are right, these things say the son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire. See? Same eye I show you on the phone. It's the same eye. His eyes as a flame of fire. And it says, And his feet are like fine brass. See? His feet are like fine brass, which are these mountains. Even his arms are mountains of brass. His arms. These are his feet. His feet is what brass. See? A brass right here, the word brass. And this, that's the color of it. You know, his feet. Brass. And this is fire. The blue. The blue is blazing fire burning fire so, the, so these mountains are on fire they're burning with fire can you say because remember let's go to this we go to isaiah 1 isaiah 1 isaiah chapter 1 last verse isaiah chapter 1 the last verse which i think is 31 verse 30 hmm. verse 31 yeah it says and the strong shall be as a toe and a maker of it and the maker of it as a spark and this what I draw here, this in the video of the eye, this is sparks dripping from the eye as tears. Sparks. I says, when the maker of it as a spark, so my maker is a spark or a flame of fire. I says, and they shall both burn together and none shall quench them. See? So both of us shall burn together. Me and the Mosai shall burn together and none shall quench us. See? So that's why the mountains are on fire. That's why I'm saying his feet are like fine brass. As if they burnt in a furnace, which is what Jerusalem. This is Jerusalem, is feet. Isaiah thirty-one verse nine, and he shall pass over his stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign. And the ensign is him hand that him lift up, or his messenger that he has sent, such as Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ was the ensign prophesied of, you know, unto which the Gentiles shall seek. So I am your ensign as well. I said he shall give me for a covenant of the people. Right? So it says, Say the Lord whose fire is in Zion. His fire is in Zion, which is in me. The inner man. The inner man is in me, which is a fire, which is a blazing fire. You see? It is in me, and this is his people that is in me. Yeah, this is people. It says, Say the Lord whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace is in Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is the way the soles of his feet is and his feet dwell. Right? His feet is Jerusalem. So that's where I've come to there. That's what I said. This is this body is the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. Which is the inner man. Which is, which is the Almighty God. Which is the kingdom of heaven that is created in you. So this has to be created in you. Cause no man can draw this but by the revelation of Christ. No man can draw this. Only those that have received the revelation of Christ can draw this. Right? So, let me share something in St. John 6 quickly. 
Saint John six. Saint John six. Saint John six verse thirty eight. He said, "For I I am come down from heaven." What did Jesus mean by "I am come down from heaven"? Wasn't he born of Mary? Wasn't he born of our earthly woman? Hmm. How did he come down from heaven? <laughs> Right, that's the question. So this is the explanation. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God came upon him. The Spirit of God came upon him, which is a lamp of fire. Saint John 1 verse 33. No verse 32. And John and John and John the record saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. Hear him say, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. And this came down out of heaven like a dove. The Spirit of God which is a flame of fire. All this in this body is a fire. But the Lord our God is a consuming fire. See, it's a consuming fire. So it says, um, and I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. See, we saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. Let's go back to this now. So the Spirit is what come down from heaven. That's why he said this right here. For I am come down from heaven. See, it's the Spirit. <laughs> And the spirit of thought which has his eyes as a flame of fire which we call the son of god that's why that's why we go to so we go back to revelation chapter one now show revelation chapter one revelation chapter one revelation chapter one verse uh verse 13 and in the midst of the seven candlesticks so this is in the midst of the seven candlesticks or is in the midst of the churches because we're because he said Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I am in the midst. Right? That's what I'm saying. Where two or three are gathered, I am in the midst. So he's in the midst of his people. He's his people because he's in them. He's in them. Right? He's in them. This is first John. Um First John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, ye have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. See, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So he's in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, which are the seven churches. You see? He's in the seven churches. So it says, And in the midst of the, this is Revelation 1 verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Notice it says, one like unto the Son of Man. So this is actually the Son of God. The Son of Man is this physical body. That only have two eyes, one nose, one mouth, two ears. This is the Son of Man. But this, this is the Son of God, which is in me, which is in the believers. And these are his chariots, these are his wheels. These are his wheels, which are his burning fire, which is his body. His body, his wheels is his body. So it says, um, what it says, one like unto the Son of Man. So notice it says, he didn't say the Son of Man, he said one like unto the son of man which is talking about this the son of god with his eyes as a flame of fire see right so um what was i going to put in the one like the son of god so now we see what christ meant when he said i am come down from heaven right because the spirit of god which is this Descending, descended upon him because the Lord stood upon the waters, he stood upon the flood, which is what sapphire stones, which are Nazarites. You see, and even as I told you, the body, the whole body is Nazarites, and this is what burial. Burial is what burial. Show you what a burial is a burial stone. What a burial stone is okay. So, this is a burial stone. Okay. This is a burial stone. You can't see properly. It was a pale green stone. Pale green. Right? So these wheels are green. Right? And look like that precious stone. They look like the precious stone. Alright? So, let's go to Daniel. Daniel chapter 10 verse 6. His body was like the burial. See that? His body. His body which is covered by a garment. is covered by wool. It's covered by cloths of linen. Which is his robe, which is the cloud. The cloud is his garment. <laughs> so these, so these chariots are hidden in the clouds, ready, to, ready to be revealed in the last day, ready to to be revealed in the day of judgment against 
all the deeds of ungodly men. See the revelation of righteous judgment. <laughs> this is the revelation of righteous judgment upon ungodly men. You see? So it says, his body was like the burial. This is his body. See his body. And I show you the burial that is pale green, right? It says, and his face has the appearance of lightning. See his face. I know I had some had some had some little strokes before showing that this cloud is, is bright or the cloud is shining. This is his face. This this cloud is shining like the sun. Yes, very bright, it's shining. Shining with the with, 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 shining with, with the gospel of God. Shining with shining with the doctrine of Christ. Right? It says uh, um yes, and his face has the appearance of lightning. So this is a cloud. And where does lightning come from? The clouds. See which is what the word of God, the arrows, the arrows of the Almighty. Which is his words. So it's out of, out of him come a what? A sharp two-edged sword, which is the word, which is also lightning. See me? So watch it. It says, his face has the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire. As I said, his eyes are as lamps of fire, which is the eyes of your understanding. Yes, this eye, these eyes have to be created in you when you begin to understand. They begin to understand it is created in you. It is fashioned in you. See, he's creating the inner man. This is the inner man. Right? And any piece of this inner man you take is the Son of God. If you take a little piece from here, that's the Son of God. If you take a piece of this book that I draw, it's the Son of God. If you take a piece of this mountain, is the Son of God. Any piece of this image you take, it gives you the whole proportion of the... It gives you the proportion of the entire image. Yes, that's that's in fractal geometry. <laughs> yeah, this is a fractal. <laughs> right. So it says, eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet and a like in colour to polish brass. His feet and his arms in colour to polish brass. That's why I say I put the mountains. These are brass mountains for his arms and his feet is mountains as well. Which is what? Us. It's us. It's speaking of us. Cause this is in us. This is in us, it is speaking of us, and it says, and, the and his voice like the voice of a multitude. See, the Lord stood upon the flood. So, this is a multitude of people, it's a body of people. Can I notice it says, is um, polished brass. It says, No, his body also was like the buried. His body, what is his body? Let's go to Ephesians chapter 20. Ephesians 20 um, Ephesians 5 verse verse Yes, 7 verse 22 it says Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as un unto the Lord Say, submit yourselves unto the Lord, which is what? The Almighty God, the inner man, which is a multitude of people, a, multi a host of angels. Alright, so it says, So it says, um, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he's the savior of the body. And what did we read in Daniel? It says, His body is as the burial. And what did he say? That we are his body. This is us, the chariots of God. We are his chariots. We are his, we are the chariots of his glory. We are his wheels. We are his wheels which are his burning fire. Wheels. Let's go to This is a guy. Okay, this is Habakkuk chapter three, Habakkuk three verse eight. Was the Lord displeased against the reverse? Hmm? Was the Lord displeased against 
the rivers because there's also rivers and trees in this body see river river this, 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 this river flowing down the mountain this river flowing down the mountain is the word of god or the gospel the gospel is flowing from the mountains down upon the grass which is the people flowing to give water in, in, in the wilderness to his people is chosen right so it says was the lord displeased against rivers was thine was thine anger against the rivers why was thy wrath against the sea the sea see the sapphire stones the wrath against the sea which are people the sea is people multitude nation and tongues so it says that thou didst ride upon thine horses and thy chariots of salvation <laughs> he ride upon his horses upon his chariots of salvation which is us yeah which is us it's got the axe book of axe the axe. No, let's go to Zechariah 10. Zechariah 10. Zechariah 10, verse 3. My anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats. For the Lord of hosts have visited his flock, the house of Judah. See, his flock, which is the house of Judah. His flock. He's got the Song of Solomon, which is his body. <laughs> All right? That's what the Song of Solomon is. Can they come back to you? Song of Solomon. Okay, Song of Solomon. Chapter. Song of Solomon, chapter. Chapter 4, verse 1. Behold, thou art fear, my love. Behold, thou art fear. Thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks. See, thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks, which is the cloud. See, dove's eyes within the locks, which is in the cloud. <laughs> you see, and all of this was in Jesus Christ. All of this is in the believers. You see, it says, Behold, thou art fear, my love. Behold, thou art fear. Thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks. I remember we had read that. Whomsoever you see the Spirit is sending upon like a dove, the same is he that what baptizes you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. See, that's what is happening now. This is fire, I'm baptizing you with fire. <laughs> let's go to let's go to um, Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse verse 29 he said is not my word like as a fire <laughs> is not his word like as a fire so this is his word the spirit the wisdom which descended from on high this is it this is it right here right he says is not my word like as a fire said the lord and like a hammer that break it, the rock in pieces so notice he says is my word like as a fire this is jeremiah 5 verse 14 Wherefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, because he speak this word, behold, I make my words in thy mouth fire. <laughs> and the people would, and he shall devour them. Alright. So, so let's go back to this now. It says, Thy hair is as a flock of goats. His hair. What, we, what did we read? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And now he's saying that his hair is a flock of goats. So this cloud is a flock of people. All this right here, this is symbolic for people. We're using inanimate objects to represent people. Symbolic. This is symbolic of people. It's a body of people. But using symbology. You understand? This was a hidden understanding, which is people. It's supposed to be thinking about people when you look at this. Right? It says, that here is as a flock of goats that appear from Mount Gilead. It's here. What did he read in Zechariah? Let's go to Zechariah 10 now. Zechariah 10 verse 3. Matt. For the Lord of hosts have visited his flock, the house of Judah. And when he says, here is as a flock of goats. <laughs> and he visited his flock, the what? The house of Judah. And had made them as his goodly horse in the battle. See? So the Spirit is riding us. The Spirit is not resting upon us. It's sitting upon us. As in the Pentecost sitting upon us as in the day of Pentecost 
of Acts. So, so that's why Jesus Christ said, I am come down from heaven. See, he's come down, which is what the Spirit of God is come down. Acts 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of a fire, and it sat upon each of them. Cloven tongues like as of a fire. So I'll put, draw the cloven tongues in this. Because all of this is the tongues. Because I am his tongue. I am his spokesperson. See, I am speaking for him. I am speaking for the Lord. So I am his mouth and his tongue. Get it? I am his mouth and his tongue. So, so we which are spokespeople, are spokespeople, are spokespersons, right? We have the wisdom in us, which is New Jerusalem. This is New Jerusalem, the kingdom of God. And that's what we must preach. We must preach the kingdom of God, right? Let's go to uh, Luke, Luke chapter. Mm. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 From that time Jesus began to preach And to say Repent Yes, yeah, so a lot of you need to repent A lot of people need to repent Because you know You have not seen the Lord That's why I'm showing this to you So, so, you, so you might get a revelation Because this is by revelation And when you see him You're going to experience death okay, so There will be some standing here Which are not taste of death Till they have seen Till they have seen the son of man coming with his glory see this is it this is what i'm showing you so it's supposed to experience that death after you have seen this see it's supposed to become a new creature because i'm giving you the hidden wisdom the hidden knowledge this is something that is hidden you only can see this through revelation through precept upon precept line upon line here a little and there a little All right so i'm saying from that time jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of god is at hand this is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. It is in me. The Lord is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand, which is what? No. This is happening. No. This is in, in me. No. Right? This is in me. No. This is Acts 13. Right? Acts chapter 13, verse 41. He said, Behold, ye despisers. Meaning what? You haters. He said, well, Look, you haters. He said, And wander and perish. <laughs> You see, because you're going to perish. Those that don't believe this gospel is going to perish. Right? And it says, And I, for I work, I work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. So the work is happening now in your days, which you will not believe, though a man declare it to you. Even though I'm declaring it to you, you will not believe. Because I tell you, say, this is in me. But you don't believe this. You don't believe, say, this is in me. Because it seems strange, don't you? But I tell you, say, something like, this is in me. Right? But here I'm saying, I work, I work. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. So I work, I work. Because I remember I read that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So this is Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26 verse 12. Lord, thou it ordain peace for us. For thou how also hast wrought all our works in us. He has done his works in us. What did we read? I work a work in your day which you will not believe though a man declare it to you the works is done in us in us that's why I'm telling you I don't know because you cannot see it in me you're seeing the son of man that's what you're seeing you're not seeing the son of God you're seeing the son of man and not the son of God this is the son of God this is the son of God which is, which is the wisdom that descends from on high that's why I'm saying I came down from above to do him, the will of him that sent me right let's go to saint john chapter 3 saint john chapter 3 verse verse um verse 8 the wind bloweth where it listed so the wind blow it wheresoever it is it um was designed to go right it says the wind the wind blew it where it listed or uh, wheresoever it planned to go. A list, a list is a 
a group of things could be uh, objectives objects items whatsoever but let's go on though it says um the wind blew it where is that and though here is the sound thereof but can not tell when it, when it comes see so you hear the sound but you don't know when it come when the wind blow it just happens suddenly you don't know when it come right you cannot predict it it says though and though here's the sound thereof but can not tell when it come it and whether it go it so you, so you can't tell when it come and when it go and then it says so is everyone that is born of the spirit so everyone that is born of the spirit you don't know when they had come and when they will go right meaning the spirit you don't know when the spirit has entered into them and you don't know when gonna be the end of their flesh and the spirit will leave you see that you don't know when it come because it has come in me but you don't know <laughs> And I'm showing that I'm giving the evidence of the revelation which I've received. I'm showing the revelation of what I've received. Right? Through what? Through patience. In doing the will of God. Can I say, if you, oh, let me show you something. Let's, let me show you something. Let's go to, show you something. Um, show you something. Okay. Okay, this is St. John 11, St. John 11 verse 40. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Right? Only if you believe. Time said, I work a work in your day which you will not believe, though a man declare to you. And now him said, if you only believe, you shall see the glory of God. <laughs> if you only believe, if you only believe that I received revelation, no man can make this known but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. By the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Which is the, your inner man. That's what you're talking about. The eyes of your understanding. Your inner man. Alright. That's why when I made the, um, the video, my breasts are fashioned. It's talking about mountains. See, breasts. These are breasts. Which is in me. My breasts are fashioned. Which is in me. And these prosperous. And these, these, these have milk. That's it. So this river, this river is also milk, which is the word, or uh, water. Water and milk, whichever way you want to put it. Or even fire, if you want to see it as fire. This river that is flowing from the mountain is the word of God. The gospel. The doctrine. Alright. Let's go to, go to another place again. Let's go to, um, Alright, so this is um, Joel, Joel, this is Joel chapter 3, verse 18. I shall come to pass in that day, and the day is now. Because remember I read that, I work a work in your day. 
which you will not believe though a man declare it to you. See, this is the day. The day when the when his when, when his spirit pouring up his spirit upon our flesh. This is the spirit that's in pour out upon our flesh, which is what in wrath and in fury. Which is his word, his wrath and his fury is poured down upon our flesh. And this is how you get to see visions and prophesy. You understand? So this has happened to me. See, that's how you get the understanding to be able to prophesy. That's how you get the anointing. You see, so it says, and it shall come to pass in that day. It shall come to pass in me. Because I am the day that the Lord had made. I am that day. See? He says, I work, I work in your days. I am that day that he worked it in. In, because he said he had done his works in us. Remember, I read that too. He had done his works in us. Right? So, let's go. So it says, and hills shall flow down with milk. See, the hills shall flow down with milk. And the milk is what? The word. The sincere word. That's the milk. The sincere word. The milk flowing down from the mountain, which is the breast. This is a breast. The mountain is a breast. You yeah, see, it's shaped like a breast. It's a breast. Flowing down with milk. The mountain, which is Jerusalem. Our new Jerusalem, then. This is the new Jerusalem, which is working in me. It's working it in me. I see? He also has a book. This is how he bound me. He bound me with the chains. Bound me with the chains of the book chains see what I say? and you so I have a book see it's fractal he that is in me have a book even as so I have a book fractal he that is in me have a book see he that is in me let me show you that he that is in me has a book oh my <laughs> let me show you that he that is in me has a book oh my this is so sweet Revelation 5 verse 1 and I saw in the right hand of him I saw in the right hand of him. What's the right hand? Let's go to Psalm chapter 80 to find out what's the right hand. Psalm chapter 80. Okay. Psalm chapter 80, verse 17. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man. So the son of man is the right hand of God. The right hand of God is the son of man. Okay? So it says, yeah, whom thou made strong for thyself. No, it says, who thou made strong for thyself. And what and what did we read? In, well, no, I never read it. Let's go to Psalm 118 and read it so I can say I had read it. <laughs> Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We rejoice and be glad in it. And that day is Jesus Christ. We must be glad in him. In him. And if he, be, and if he believe Jesus Christ, believe also me. Because I am from him. Right? So it says, Whom thou made a strong for thyself. So he made the Son of Man strong, which is in that day. <laughs> he made the Son of Man strong in that day, which is in Christ. So if you want to be strong, you have to be in Christ. Can say the strong shall be as a toe, and the maker of it as a spark, and both shall burn together and none shall quench it. Right? So let's go back to this now. And I saw in the right hand, and the right hand is what? The Son of Man. So in the Son of Man, right, it says, and I saw in the Son of Man, and I saw in the Son of Man of him that sat on the throne a book. <laughs> this book. This book is in me. It is in me. It is in the Son of Man. See, the Spirit of God which is in me, it has a book. So the same book I'm talking about is in me. It says, sat on the throne a book written within on the backside, sealed with seven seals. This book is sealed with seven seals, which is in me. Which is in me and is loose in the seals which is the judgment the judgment which is the words of my mouth see so let's go to revelation 15 verse 1 and i saw another sign in heaven great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up the wrath of God. See that seven angels with seven last plagues. And the book of seven seals. Book of seven seals. And these seven seals are to be loose. And when they loosen the seals, these plagues coming upon the earth and judgment. From this what the seven angels. He's loosing the seven angels. 
He says, Alexander that signing him, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. <laughs> in them. See, in them, because he had done his works in us. Now, remember these precepts. He had done all his works in us. So these wheels which are burning fire is in me. It is in me. It is in the day. In that day, the day of judgment, the day of the Lord. <laughs> See, it is in the day of the Lord. This it is, it is in me. Right? It's in the day of the Lord. Let's go to Daniel. Turn in the book of Daniel. Daniel. So this is my inner man, which is the Almighty God. And, it, in, in, and in six days, it has to be created. And the seventh day, God has to rest because it has to be fully created in you. This is to be created in six days. Because some say six days shall do labor. And what's that labor? You're laboring for this to be created in you. You're laboring for the Spirit of God. You're tarrying for the Spirit. And on the seventh day, the last day now, you're going to receive it. Because the last day, important him Spirit upon our flesh. And him rests on that day. Right? So let's go to. So this is Daniel chapter 7. Daniel 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the angels that they did sit. So the thrones were cast down. If you don't believe me, let's go to verse, verse 13. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the Son of Man. That's what I read in Revelation 1. One like the Son of Man. And I tell you that the Son of Man is this physical man. That's the Son of Man. But the Son of God is the Spirit. The Spirit. The spiritual man is the Son of God. Right? Because God is a Spirit. So if you come from God, it means that you, you come from Spirit. You come from a spiritual place. Yeah, where only spirits dwell. So your spirit is from God. And God is a spirit. Okay? So I'm saying, and I built the thrones, the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit whose garments was white as snow. See? Clouds. The clouds are white as snow and garments. Is a cloud. This garment is a cloud. Let's go to Job. Job and then come back here, sir. Job 38. Job chapter 38, verse 9. When I made the cloud the garment, see, he made the cloud the garment. So even his head and his ears is a garment for a covering. That's what a garment is for, it's for a covering. So your head and your ears is for a covering. Right? The ears and head is for a covering. So this, so this cloud that I draw is a garment. Yes, it's a garment. See, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, do it like that now. So you can see the garment. Because of the shine. Light will shine. So yeah, so the see the garment is wearing a robe, a linen, white robe, or a white cloud. The white cloud is his garment. Okay, so it says I made the cloud, the garment thereof. I know he says he had made the day. Remember I read that? It says, um, this is the day that the Lord had made. I rejoice and be glad in it. All right, it says, I made the cloud the garment thereof, and the thick darkness a swaddling band for it. Thick darkness a swaddling band for it. All right, and a swaddling band is for a covering. Because when they swaddled the child Jesus, you know, they covered him, he was covered in a garment. All right, so let's go back. So let's go back to that. And it says, And I beheld the till the thrones were cast down, the ancient of days did sit. See, the spirit of God resting upon us it sat upon us just like on the day of pentecost where clothing tongues of fire sat upon them all right so it says whose garments was white as snow which is the cloud i say i made, I made the cloud the garment he said make the cloud the garment right garment white as snow and when him said what him head and his ears it's white as snow him head and his ears is also the garment because it's a cloud <laughs> See, his body is a cloud. See? Which is us. <laughs> it says, And the hair of his head like the pure wool. And what did we read in Song of Solomon chapter 4? That hair is as a flock of goats. And we say these are what? Pure wool. That means that they are what? They are free from sin. Pure wool. They are free from sin. They are not contaminated. They are not known of any man by lying with them. <laughs> spiritually speaking. Spiritually. Right? They are not known any man by lying with them. Right, so this is how uh, it says verse here. Yeah. His head like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels, and his wheels as burning fire, just like the mountain. The mountain is burning fire, even the wheels is burning fire. So the blue is the fire. So the blue, the blue is the fire. The blue, 
because I only have two color markers, blue and black. So, you know, so it says, and his wheels are burning fire. Yes, these wheels, these wheels are burning fire. Mm -hmm. These wheels are burning fire. See the whirlwind? This is a whirlwind. That's a whirlwind. And Elijah was taken up into the whirlwind, into the cloud, into chariots of fire, into the cloud, in a whirlwind. Right? So, so we see that um, yeah, his throne is a fiery flame. Even the wheels is burning fire, which is us, because we are his body. And this is his body. He says his body is as the burial. So this is a vision of the church, the new Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem. Remember Jesus Christ said I came down from heaven, right? This is Revelation 21, verse, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, which is this. This is the new heaven and the new earth. Right, new heaven and new earth. Right, any man in Christ is a new creature. So the inner man becomes this now. You have this inner man now. Right, it says, For the first earth and the first were passed away. Right, talking about the first church and their followers. They are not in me anymore. The first church and their followers is not in me. Because <laughs> him said you must make a sacrifice of a lamb of the first year daily. Yes, we must make sacrifices of the lambs for, 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 of the first year daily. And that's what I did. I sacrificed the first church. <laughs> right? So it says, the first were passed away. That's why I'm saying, I remember I read, let's go back to it again. Yes, I did punish the first church. <laughs> right? So Zechariah 10. Zechariah 10, verse 3. My anger was kindled against the shepherds and I punished the goats. Yes, my anger was kindled against the shepherds because what? They are not feeding the flock. They are feeding the flock with ignorance. And not feeding them with the kingdom of God. Now feed them with the kingdom of God. Let's go to Acts 28. Acts 28, verse 31. Start from verse 30. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God. See, Paul was preaching the kingdom of God. In the face of Jesus Christ, because when you look at his face, his face telling the even the knowledge of the kingdom of God, right? So it says, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which concerning the Lord Jesus Christ, with all confidence, no man forbidding him, just like I do it now. You see, with which concern the Lord Jesus Christ, these things concern the Lord Jesus Christ. As I say, he was a Nazarite. You see that body is as the burial because it's also revealed as a serpent and a serpent body is green most of the time <laughs> right or uh, some of the time if you want to put it that way right and we, 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 we see that and when you look at the wheels from overhead this is what we see a wheel in the middle of a wheel concentric circles concentric so you have the throne of God in the middle and you have the elders round about the throne or his family round about the throne so this is actually a body of people surrounding a table or a throne. This represents a, ta a table. So we're, so we're surrounding a table. So there's a table in these wheels and there's people surrounding the tables and these are full of eyes. And these rings are gold rings. These are rings of gold. Right? These are rings of gold. So we must preach the kingdom of God for the time is at hand. Let's go to um, go to Ezekiel. No, let's go to Ezekiel Fall Tree. I'm gonna add this in. Ezekiel Fall Tree. Alright, let's read this first. So no sister, but now I make up these things. Uh, you know, there are people with evil eye out there. Any little thing you do, can't please them. No matter what you do. <laughs> this is Ezekiel. Ezekiel 1, verse, verse 16. And the appearance of the wheels. The appearance of the wheels and their work because he had done his works in us <laughs> and their work so this work is in you and their work so he's making these things in you says, and their work was like on the color of a burial so you have the word burial burial color of a burial and then it says and they four had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a 
wheel. So this is the overhead view, the overhead of it. Wheel in the middle of a wheel. Right, and then it says wheel in the middle of a wheel. It says um Verse 18. Verse 18 says, As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them. See, these rings are full of eyes. Full of eyes, which are what? Spirits, ministers. They are full of eyes. They're full of understanding. <laughs> See them full of understanding. Right, full of understanding. They're full of the knowledge of God. Because these light eyes are enlightened, they're filled, filled with light. So I said the wings were full of eyes round about. So we see that people surrounding the throne of God, eyes surrounding the throne, right? So let's go to Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. The Song of Solomon, chapter five, verse fourteen. His hands are as gold rings. See that? His hands are as gold rings. Set with beryl. His hands. His hands are as gold rings set with beryl. So these are his hands. Which are his what? His chariots of his salvation. Which is us. It's us. The chariots of salvation is us. The church. This is speaking of New Jerusalem. The church. See, it's us. He says, and his belly is as bright ivory overlaid with sapphires. His belly. Bright ivory overlaid with sapphire. Even, even sapphires is right here, so too. You have wheels which are as the color of sapphire as well. You have wheels of many many different colors, can I see? You have even have um brass colored wheels. You have brazen colored wheels, brass colored wheels. You have many color wheels. See? So um yeah, gold ring set with burial, which is us, which is us, his body, which are his hands. Let's go to Psalm 78. Psalm 77 verse 20 Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron See, thou led thy people like as a flock See, come out word again Flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron So I am his hand And I am what? Of burial set with gold That's, And that is in me Yes I am as the color of a burial set with gold rings See, they are set with gold rings Speaking of me, the chariot of salvation. And out of these chariots come what? Whirlwind. Which is a, a rebuke. A rebuke. So when I rebuke somebody, it's coming from in me. The chariot that is in me is doing the judgment upon the people. Through me, is it? This which is in you. This is the inner man, the son of God. Right, so let's go to back to Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Verse 1, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, which is this, which is created in you. It's the new man or the new inner man. You go have a new inner man, meaning you go have a new understanding, a new outlook as to who God is. And it says, For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, which is the first church, which is what earthly, sensual, and devilish. The first church is earthly, sensual, and devilish. And they have not the spirit. So the Lord purged me from that. You see, he says, and the first earth were passed away and there is no more sea there's no more sea because what is sea sea represents wisdom or people multi nation and tongues can we read proverbs 18 verse 4 it said words of a man's mouth are as deep waters mm -hmm. so this is the old way the farmer can the farmer conversation let's go to ephesians so the first church them still in the farmer conversation 
they haven't learned the present truth they've learned what's the present truth mm -hmm, so Ephesians, go to Ephesians Ephesians 4 verse 22 that he put off the former conversation so the same word coming to play again the former conversation which is what conversation in the past times let's go back again and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away see the former things were what? passed away the first earth and the first heaven was passed away let's go back again it says that he put off concerning the former conversation the old man and that's why genogenes keep talking about the old man because he is an old man the old man is early sensual and devilish yeah the old troublemaker that's why he calls himself the old troublemaker <laughs> yes he is a old old troublemaker right which is what he's a mischievous person he's of the devil because once you're offending one point after in, in the law you're offending all points so if you judge by appearance you're offending all points yeah because as i preach you're the inner man so you know if you judge by the outward if you judge by the doctrine or the gospel by the revelation and revelation happen in you you know the works in you the works in you so now so, so it says the works in you all right so yeah ephesians 4 20 24 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, that he put off concern in the former conversation the old man which is what the doctrine of the first church yeah he said i must sacrifice a lamb of the first year <laughs> continue because what they, they that hate the lord shall be as what the fat of lambs and the fat of rams yes the enemies of the lord shall be as the fat of rams okay so it says which is corrupt according to the deceitful loss See, so the former conversation, the old man is corrupt according to the what? The deceitful lust. And lust is what I desire. So they, so they have the lust to deceive. To trick people. To lie to people. See, that's the old man. So when you have the new man, this is the truth. Because the new man is the truth, you know. The new man is the truth. Let's go to Proverbs. The new man is the truth. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 17 He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness So that says show forth righteousness I have to speak the truth and this is the truth The truth is by the revelation That's how the mystery is made known unto you by revelation Alright It says but a false witness deceit A false witness show deceit which is lies A false witness Let's go back to this now It says that he put off the car Concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. And what do you read about of the false witness? A false witness speak deceit. Yes, so beware of these pastors, man. Even the, even the pastor of the first church. <laughs> beware of that man. Beware of the doctrine. Right? Study the word for yourself. Study the scriptures. He says, verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that's New Jerusalem now. When you renew your mind, this is created in you. New Jerusalem, the city of God. The city of God which come out, out of heaven from God. And with this is the new name. This have the new name. This, 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 this body, it has a new name. And the new name of this body is called what? The Word of God. I'm going to show it to you. See, so, and that he put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So he put on the new man, which is New Jerusalem. So he have a new spirit new inner man a new spirit right we'll go back to here so now we've got revelation 19 let's go back to this verse 2 and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea see the old man perish <laughs> the old man perish so when in new jerusalem you put off lying you stop lying when you become new jerusalem because you now know the truth because he that speak it truth show it forth righteousness that's proverbs 12 verse 17 all right you know so let's go to revelation 19 now to show you that this have a new name this son of god he has a new name he says it's a name written that he alone knows 
and nobody else knows, knows this, this, this name. So Revelation 19 verse 11. I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse. See the horse, the clouds. The cloud is his horse, the good little horse in the battle. Alright? So this is his horses, his people, his horses. Alright? Because remember, he had made this house of the house of Judah, his goodly horses in the battle. Alright? He says, a white horse, which is what the house of Judah. And his he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. So this is what sits upon the house of Judah, the spirit, which is called a faithful and true. This son of God is faithful and true. Faithful and true, and it says, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. See, some of his weapons of his indignation, the weapons of his warfare. These are his weapons of his warfare. The mountains and his chariot wheels and his throne, which is a burning fire. And lightning is also his weapons of his warfare. See, so it says, his eyes were as a flame of fire. See, his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And he says, that's what I've read. Red to, to indicate that these are red eyes, red with wine, which is what the knowledge of God, the fire, fiery eyes. And it says, and his head were many crowns, and he and he says, and his head were many crowns. Meaning what? Because remember, his head and his ears is what the Nazarites, and Nazarites are kings. That's why it says, and his head were many crowns. That's why I put the crowns. So these, so, so his head is made up of kings, kings. That's why it says, and his head is many crowns. Because there are many kings. A cloud is a crowd of people, you know. A crowd is a cloud. You see? So there are many kings. So this cloud is made up of kings. Alright? I said his head and his ears is white like wool, as white as snow. Okay, so let's go to Cross 2 again. Yeah, it says, And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. So the Son of God him have a name written that no man knew but he himself. And what is that name? And his name and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Because what? When he tread upon the nations, the blood spill upon his garments. She is stained with blood. <laughs> See the inner man is stained with blood, says, and his name is called the Word of God. So that's the name of this image here. Or the spirit. That's the name of it. The word of God, which is also called the Son of God. So the name of Jesus Christ is the Word of God. That's the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of our name, which is the Word of God. First right. Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? Beseech you by the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? The Word of God. That's what I revealed to you. I revealed to you. That his name is called the Word of God. Okay, so it says, The name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we all speak the same thing. We all speak the same thing. Right? So this should have been revealed to you too. How much we speak in the same thing. Right? And this is by revelation. Right, so I'm giving you the dispensation. The dispens I'm showing you the dispensation given to me. Right, the dispensation given to me. Because this is not given to all men. This is what is revealed to me is not given to all men. Right, so it says um, that these all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined in the same mind and in the same judgment. You see? So you first church should also become the second church. The second tabernacle because it's one Lord. One Lord. Mm -hmm. One Lord. So it says. So it says, um, speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That means we need to have the same level of knowledge, same faith. Believe the same thing. So you should believe me. Because if you believe God, Believe also me, because I am from God. See? No man can do this but by revelation. So I say, so this is the body of the kingdom of God, which is his what? The spirit of God. Which when heaven, oh, so this is coming through a window out of heaven. This is coming through a window out of heaven. See, his eyes are as a flame of fire, and his head with many crowns. This is...
Revelation chapter 10 verse 1 And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud See, I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud He's clothed with a cloud I says, and a rainbow was upon his head See, that's why I put the rainbow but because I don't have a diversity of colors, I couldn't draw the rainbow. So I just put something to represent the rainbow. So that's why the word rainbow. So this is supposed to be a rainbow upon the cloud or surrounding the cloud. It says, and his face as it were the sun. So this is shining. This is shining at the sun. So the color amber. 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 That's the color of the sun. Amber. So, so his face is shining as the sun. It's a bright cloud. It's what you call a bright cloud. Show something, a bright cloud. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 17 verse 5 While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them So they were in the mountain And a bright cloud came down upon the mountain A bright cloud See, it's the same bright cloud It's the same bright cloud that came down Same bright cloud, it says While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them And behold, a voice out of the cloud See, a voice came out the cloud I see a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased so this is a bright cloud which shine as the sun and out of this come voice the voice of words the voice of words come out of that thing let's go back to Revelation 1 Revelation 1 verse 4 verse verse 16 and he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. See, out of this cloud is coming the word. Sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance, which is his face, his face, his countenance, was as the sun shineth in his strength. So the face are shining, which is a bright cloud. It's the same cloud that descended upon the mountain and said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So you can watch the video now. We can watch a video called WTF Cloud. And we watch WTF Cloud. You're gonna see a cloud with sparkling lights in it. Got the same eyes, sparkling lights in it. So the world is fractal. All right. So we've got Revelation 10. Now back to it. So it says, Revelation 10, verse one. And his face were as it were the sun. So his face as it were the sun. And it says, and his feet as pillars of fire. See, his feet as pillars of fire, with the same brass mountains. Same brass mountain, try to breast the same breast. You see it so. And it says, verse 2 And he had in his right hand a little book. He had in his right hand a little book. Open, little book open, right? Little book open. And he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth. The same sapphire again, meaning it is, it is upon us, him resting upon us. He stood upon the flood. See the sea and the earth. Cause the earth is also a people, you know. <laughs> the earth is also a people, right? So it says. So we see that in his right hand is a book, right? Right hand is a book. Let's go to Revelation 20 now. Revelation 20 verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key at the bottom of his feet and a great chain in his hand. This book is the great chain that he have in his hand. This book. He says, and the key of the bottom, he says, having a great chain in his hand, having the key of the bottom is pit and a great chain in his hand. This book is the great chain that he's having in his hand. How I know? And this is the final scripture then. You know, I'll, I'll visit you again another day. So I'm going to show you that this book is the chains now. Alright, Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 
8 and 9 My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother for they shall be an ornament of grace So notice it says Hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother This is speaking of a spiritual mother and father which is God Right, because you're supposed to be born again You have to be born of the water and of the spirit to enter the kingdom of God And God is a spirit So if you have to be born of the spirit You're born from a spiritual mother and father Which is what? The law and the instructions For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head And chains about thy neck so this shall be chains about your neck, the words of this book, the words. So this is the great chain that I'm having him on the book. Her instruction shall be chains about thy neck and shall be an ornament of grace. So this chains gonna give you grace. It's gonna give you mercy in the sight of God. They're gonna reconcile you to God. And these chains are in you as I read. Revelation 5, it is in me. The chains, which is the instruction. Revelation 5 verse 1. And I saw in the right hand, and the right hand is what? The Son of Man. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book, the chains. So you see the revelation. You see the revelation. But peace be unto you. There's many more things I have to say to you. Right? But the time, the end is now come.